Good morning, this is Bill Gargan, meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Topeka, Kansas. This morning we'll discuss the possibility for severe weather late this afternoon through Sunday afternoon. An upper level storm system over Southern California will move northeast across the desert southwest today and into the plains on Sunday. This will provide two days of potential severe weather from late this afternoon through Sunday afternoon. This morning, we had some isolated thunderstorms across portions of east central Kansas, generally south of the Kansas Turnpike. Some of the stronger thunderstorms may produce small hail. These thunderstorms should move out of the area by 10 a.m. Otherwise, for most of the day, we'll just see warm and windy conditions with temperatures reaching the lower 80s across east central Kansas to the upper 80s across north central Kansas. Late this afternoon and this evening, a dry line will push east into central Kansas. Isolated thunderstorms may develop along the dry line late this afternoon. If thunderstorms manage to break the capping inversion, then some of these isolated thunderstorms will move into north central Kansas. The primary hazard with any isolated thunderstorm will be large hail and damaging wind gusts, that is if storms develop. Right now it looks like the tornado potential will be very low due to the high storm bases. Early Sunday morning, an area of strong to severe thunderstorms will move northeast across portions of east central and northeast Kansas, generally starting after midnight. The best chance for strong to severe th storms across east central and northeast Kansas will be from 4 a.m. to 6 p.m. The stronger storms tonight may produce large hail and severe wind gusts. Thunderstorms will redevelop along the surface dry line during the late morning hours of Sunday and through the afternoon hours. Some of these storms could be supercell thunderstorms and may produce tornadoes. However, if the storms quickly form a squall line, then the primary hazard will be large hail and damaging wind gusts. The Storm Prediction Center has a 15% chance of severe thunderstorms for this evening and tonight. The better chance will be late tonight. However, if a few isolated storms form on the dry line, there could be a chance for severe storms across north central Kansas early this evening. The Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 outlook shows a higher threat for severe weather. Again, we'll see severe thunderstorms possible during the early morning hours of Sunday, and then once again during the late morning and afternoon hours. Today, the confidence in thunderstorm development will be uh, pretty low due to the capping inversion. If a few isolated storms develop across central Kansas late this afternoon, they may move northeast into north central Kansas during the evening hours. Again, the chances for severe weather increase late tonight and through the day Sunday. The storms late tonight may produce large hail and damaging wind gusts, and the thunderstorms late morning hours of Sunday through Sunday afternoon may produce tornadoes if they start off as isolated supercells. If we see a squall line quickly develop, then the chances for tornadoes will be diminished and the primary hazard will be large hail and damaging wind gusts. Keep up to date to the latest National Weather Service forecast by visiting our weather webpage at www.weather.gov forward slant TOP. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for listening to this weather briefing and have a great day.